to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he's lying. He don't lie. You be a vessel that God is worth. Because you somebody might need your holy presence to save them when they Hello, this is Dr. Lee. Uh, one more time, uh, I have a video that we're going to put up today. Again, uh, this is a live service that we did on Sunday. Uh, at the recording of this introduction, <clears throat> it's Monday, but the, the service was Sunday, August the 22nd. And um, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> I'm the editor. Uh, you will notice in the video the sound quality is not that great, and really forgive the edit my my editorial skills. I'm using a a, a 360 camera, and I'm getting used to it, and so uh, I just want you to uh, be very very patient um, and forbearing with the uh, editorial problems as well as the the uh, the um, sound quality. But I believe the message is sharing, and it's not the whole service but is a large portion of the service. And I think that uh, you are going to enjoy. This is part two of Paul and Jehovah and the law. I want you to uh, pay close attention to it. And I really believe that you will be blessed by the information that is brought forth in this message. And at the end of it, we'll come back at this conclusion and wrap it up. Enjoy Jehovah, uh, I'm sorry, Paul versus Jehovah and the law, part two. I rehearsed what I learned um, in Timothy. Study to show that self approved. Study to show that self approved. And one of the things that we want to get approved under God is we have to study. And one of the things that we don't, you got to get it back there. One of the things that we have to do is um, not just sit on what we learn. But learn additional stuff. Amen. Because revelation and learning is continuing. The era of church, of members in church, is that they learn something, they get used to it, and they don't like to move from it. All right. All they want to do is just rehearse it over and over and over again because for very arrogant, <laughs> it not only does it bring content, but it also makes you comfortable. One of the things that people don't like to do is learn something else. Especially what what they're learning is contrary to where they thought they were. Because everybody wants to get to the place of I've arrived. I know everything and I don't know I don't need to know nothing else. And I, my, my thought was, you know, if you are in any other career or profession in the world, you always go to a refresher course. You always learn. So there's always a meeting, a conference that's going to teach you and take you a little bit further. Yeah. Amen. So this course that we are, this this lovely body that I have and congregation that I have the privilege of pastoring, we are initiates. We've been initiated into a higher level of thought. All right. Amen. Amen. It's going to challenge what you think you already know. Come on. But that's okay. Uh -huh. It's good to be challenged. Yeah. Amen. It's good to learn something. <laughs> Especially when people ask you, why is it like this? How do we get here? Why do we worship a certain way? What is so special about Sunday over Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> And the author of the, 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 uh, the New Testament, as we know it, uh, is written mostly by Paul's letters. Uh -huh. Amen. Paul, Amen. Jesus Christ and Paul are the major names in the New Testament. Uh -huh. Come Do you all know that? I mean, there are other names, but there are minor names. There are other writings that are the same, other teachings, but there are minor same the most pregnant revelation about Christ comes from Paul. And none, none of the men listed to be his apostles.
apostles ever give an eyewitness account of the works of Christ. Not one. All right. And none of the men listed as his apostles caught the revelation of who Christ was to the church and to the world. Okay. Not one. Not one. And most of the, the, the apostles and disciples that was following him went back to try to integrate his message with the Mosaic law. Mm, all right. Okay. It don't work. Amen. Christ's message and the Mosaic law don't work. Amen. And one of the things that we Christians say that we're Judo Christians, meaning that we model our religion after the Jewish faith, which means we model our God after the Jewish God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But Jesus' Father is not the Jewish God. Uh -huh. And see, that's the problem that the Jews had with Jesus, because the Messiah that they were looking for was not one of peace, but one of vengeance that would come and crush their enemies under his feet and rule over the world. Jesus preached love. He did, he did not preach law. Come on. Amen. And when he taught them to pray, he did not say go to Jehovah. He said pray in this manner. Our Father. Now I'm not I'm not out of the Bible. I'm, I'm still reading scripture, so don't be looking at me all strange. I'm right there. I have it. <laughs> Our Father. Now, is he Lord? Yes. yes. Do we believe that he is the manifestation of God in the flesh? Yes. Our God's Son. Yes. So we have to adhere to his word. His word say, this. Watch this. First of all, they say, teach us to pray. Uh -huh. So this was a perfect opportunity to reinforce the era of their prayer life that they had already been in. Uh -huh. Perfect opportunity. But he did not. He says, no, pray in this manner, which means the manner you have been praying in is not correct. Come on, come on. All right. Yeah. Praise God, I just want to keep this very clear. Because this amazes me how we call him Lord, but don't listen to what he's saying. He's Lord, but we don't listen to anything that he's saying. We have our own way of approaching God. We have our own way of setting up church. We have our own way of setting up our organization. And it has nothing, looks nothing like Jesus. Nothing at all. Amen. To the point that he had to reach past his 12 to someone who never even followed him or saw him named uh, Saul Tarsus to catch his attention. Oh, so, now this is important that you recognize who Saul of Tarsus is. Yeah. Because you really won't appreciate his revelation and that you know who he is yeah. and where he's come from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's not supposed to be uncomfortable with, with what I'm talking about, but don't worry, the Holy Ghost will fix you. He will, I mean, he will comfort you. <laughs> That's what he's called, the comforter. Yeah. Amen. Check my out, check me out by your spirit, by your conscience, and see what I'm telling you. Let's look at Philippians. Let's see who Paul is. Philippians chapter three. And for those of you that are with me this morning, this is the rehearsal. And, and the study class. At the seven of law. Bible study, digital Bible study, seven of law. Early in the morning, some of y'all was shaving and some of y'all was turning over. Some of y'all was with me on, on, on Facebook and YouTube. Anyway, at uh, uh, 7 o'clock, Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, if you're there, say amen. It says, for we 
are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit. Stop. That's a big statement. Because the circumcision worshiped God through the Mosaic law. Uh -huh. They kept the letter. Uh -huh. he, right from the jump, <laughs> right from the jump, he's attacking the thought of keeping the law. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? So we are the circumcision. So let you know, we are the Jews who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ. No, he, he, finishes, he, finishes this, he, he finishes this. He makes my point at the end of this. When I get to the reading, you'll see it even more clear. All right. Rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Uh -huh. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I more so. Yeah. There's nobody else more qualified to have confidence in the flesh than Wallah. Uh-huh. Ooh, come on, he wants you to know this pedigree. Watch this do. <laughs> Circumcised the eighth day yeah. of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, Concerning the law, a Pharisee. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church. Concerning righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. Uh -huh. Because I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If I'm going to promote the law, I'm qualified. I have been doing it.
phone call set up every single day. Yeah, yeah. In your business, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in the mall, Christ should be with you all the time. Don't like to say Christ out of the bedroom. Come into the bedroom. <laughs> breakfast with our guests that were there and they noted that there was some information that came forth that they had not considered thought of or heard before I hope that you receive that same type of revelation I want you to be enthusiastic with the message and how liberating it is that's what my guest said it is a very liberating message that liberates us and and removes us from the uh, the condemnation and gives us the freedom to be who God has created us to be. And I want to thank you who are supporting us. And for those of you who uh, watch me um, by way of Facebook on Sunday mornings on Facebook Live, because one of the members um, put us on live through their Facebook page. And those of you who do not have Facebook or that members page, that's why we're editing and, de and delivering this message to you today. I want to thank you for your support. For those who want to help us, you can always uh, support us by going to our webpage, which is www.nccfc.net. That, and hit that donation tab, www.nccfc.net. And if you want to... Uh, uh, mail something into us. You can mail it to us at 2851 West 120th Street, Suite E as in Edward, 522 Hawthorne, California, 902. You can also uh, uh, gift us through Zelle. Our Zelle account is sisterwheat at yahoo.com. Now, uh, if you're watching us for the first time on YouTube, this is your first time, I would like for you to like uh, the video. Then once you like the video, don't forget to hit um, uh, that bell. And once you hit the bell, I want you to know that you will receive notifications from us every time we put up a video. Every time we go live, you will get notification. Every time we do a video that's special like we did today, you have notifications so that you can track with us the revelation that God is bringing to us through this minister and through this ministry. Well, once again, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your 30 minutes. And I really believe that you are growing into the revelation that God has plans for your life. And none of those plans include defeat. Till next time, Shalom.